Hello YouTube, today we are talking again about AM32 um, ESCs. Uh, AM32 is uh, a firmware on ESC, so there are many companies producing ESCs and the firmware running on the ESC is called AM32. Um, and this is my CR18P T-Hunter. Um, I put in an EVO transmission, so maybe it's a CR18P EVO, but it's locked in the first gear with a CETA motor by Puritech, which is a super nice motor, but it's an in-runner, and it's water and dust proof and so on. Um, when you look at my EC, this is the AM32 EC, um, I think the price is between 11 to 14 dollars depending on the day you're looking or what else you have and I'm running uh, the version without a BEC there's a version with a BEC but uh, didn't want this because I have direct power the whole car with the BEC the version would be uh, this particular one would be I think two dollar more and maybe I plug in the battery to show you. Oh yeah, uh, I'm doing something special. I'm using my balancer plug for the battery. Uh, JSTXH, I guess is the correct name. Uh, I just pull the middle cable out and my battery I use uh, the balancer plug as well. I have an XT30 plug here. But I just use a balancer plug uh, to plug it in so I can change all my 2S batteries uh, through the thing. So I just plug it in. Now it's plugged in and we hide it under the spare tire. Come on, one handed. So it's under the spare tire, and you see my whole system is on 8.4 volts more i'm using a turbo racing rx41 uh, receiver uh, which can handle 8.4 volts and i use the uh, insurer you see insurer 7 maybe you can read the insurer somewhere uh, this is the insurer 7 kilogram um, servo uh, really good one and this can as a high voltage server which can handle 8.4 watts as well and to to the RX I'm using the turbo racing P32 which is a super small um, radio I use it for my kids and I use uh, this cheap one because it's super tiny you can reach with the sum and I think this is between 25 to 30 dollar and what's super nice on this one why I love to use this for the kids you have an endpoint adjustment for steering throttle for any channel and it's not a dual rate this is endpoint adjustment and it's super nice and now I'll show you the power of the servo when it's direct card so it's super 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 quick super nice and i maybe show you the slow crawl on my foldable bridge um i printed from thingiverse was free so yeah it's this super nice slow crawl uh, my guessing is that the inner one has a little bit less torque on the, on the lower rpms uh, but I will check this with the FuryTech um, ESC as well because I'm getting a FuryTech ESC just to make some comparison. And what's super nice is you have the punch as well. So now I'm explaining how to change settings to your ESC. Maybe you don't need it very often, but maybe you will need it. So we have a dongle, you need one time a dongle, this is around, I think, uh, uh, $5. Uh, you, maybe it's even cheaper. Um, you get this everywhere, you get uh, 
BL Heli 32 or BL Heli S or AM32 for drones and so on because all of them are programmed via this uh, little dongle and you just need to connect it to your computer via USB port I'm making this so see so you now we are connected uh, just need to make a little cut because I need two hands and then you know we now we need to connect it to the ESC and this is super easy you just pull out the ESC uh, servo cable uh, this one and you connect it with the dongle you see you have this one and there's a written signal as well and once it's connected which is super easy you go back to your computer and I Hopefully you can see it. You open your uh, ESC config tool for um, for the AM32. Then you go down here, uh, click Direct Connect. Oh, not easy to hit. Um, you select the port four or com port four. It is for me. Maybe it's another port for you. And then on your EC you get motor one. And then it says connecting to EC. So it's connected. Uh, this is what I'm using with the CETA inrunner motor. Uh, didn't work too well with a sinusoidal startup. Uh, it was a little bit cocking, so I relayed just on the stall protection, which is almost um, similar. And then you can make some change to your settings, whatever you want. Uh, maybe you want to change your PMW, PMW frequency from 12 to, let's say, 13. Back with the variable PWM. Uh, then we'll double the value inside of the PWM frequency over here. And then you say save settings. And uh, you see, then write EEPROM successful. And every time uh, with this particular one, I make, I make a save for writing, you know, and you get an optical, optical signal as well. And why I can use this ESC with the battery plugged in, so super nice. Because here is the tab with input, and there you have a low voltage cutoff. I would use it. The drone pilots don't like it because the drone would uh, fell out of the uh, sky once it hits 3.4 volts, but you can change the value and say, okay, I'm more aggressive driver, I want to go to 3 volts, or well, this would be 3.04 volts. Um, I'm going with 3.4 volts uh, at the cutoff. And once you're finished, again, always say save settings and there's a button which says close connection. If a button like this is there, I would use it. And the connection is closed. We can go over here. Normally I would restart the ESC. Um, I'm an old fashioned guy. Um, and I used to restart always the computers uh, because they work them better, but we do this for the video not. You plug it back into your port two. Oh, I closed. And uh, then, oh, then you close it. And it's going like this. Nice and slow, and then you have for um, between 12 and 15 dollars, you have a super nice ESC working, um, working with your CETA motor. Of course, this works for one, one to ten crawlers as well. There are different ESCs with, with more um, amp draw. I think this was out the BSC is that. 35 amps and with the BSC I think it's even 45 amps possible but they're out uh, 70 to 80 amps 
um, ESC with AM32, so depending on the crawler you have. But this is a super nice um, light one. The cable is a little bit long here, but I'm not finished with the build. I want to relocate all the stuff to a better position, but it's just for me for trying out. And yeah, that's that's it. So you get a super cheap ESC, which is working really, really good um, with the brushless motors. I will compare it to a Fury Tech ESC as well. Maybe the Fury Tech with the Inrunner Cedar motor maybe makes a little bit better job, but I'm not sure about this. I will test once I get it. But with the Outrunner, I would say the AM32 is um, brilliant. Um, so this would be my go for it. And especially if you want to do a, a super light build with uh, short cables um, and the server direct powered and as well as the ESC, um, then I would go for, for this super cheap one. And you just need a motor and I think the Venom is around $30 and or you get a Tomofo uh, motor um, and then you just need this little AM32 ESC which is really really working nice and then you can drive around if you want and funny wise my LEDs uh, should be at 6 volt normally, but they're just a little brighter so they don't live that long and yeah, so it, that's my AM32 how to set up or to connect to your computer um, I will let the links for the driver for the dongle and the video description as well as where to download the multi se config tool for aim32 uh, i will leave um, we, i will leave a link there so and enjoy your crawling and uh, rc fun you have every day and don't stop to have fun and enjoy